Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a living, breathing sword in my Soho Urban Artist sketchbook and with my Pilot G2 Limited Metal Pen with a Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter insert inside of it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get my sketchbook all opened up and let's go ahead and flip to the nearest open page so I can actually, well, go ahead and get to drawing. So, now that I have my paper all centered and everything like that, let's go ahead and get to drawing this sword. And I'm thinking I kind of want to draw like a, a sword, like a double-sided sword with a very nice hilt and everything like that kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a, like, pointed, like just a point right there and everything like that kind of thing. I'm going to bring that down, bring that down just like that. And then I'm just going to bring it down just like that kind of thing. It's going to be quite the long sword. Definitely a, a sword you need to use with two hands, that is for sure. And then I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit more, just like that. And then now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a hilt, just like that. There we go. A little bit uneven, but that's okay. And then I'm going to go and give it a hand grip. There's going to be a little, little pokey thing just coming off of there. I'm going to go ahead and give the hand grip some texture now. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some texture to the hilt as well. Is this really called the hilt or I guess like, um, I don't know what this is called. Like, is this whole thing the hilt? I don't know enough about swords to really be able to say in all honesty. Something like that. Something like that. And now I've got to go ahead and actually make this sword into a living, breathing sword. As a, Well, that's what I want to draw in today's video. I want to draw a living, breathing sword. And right now it's just a sword and an incomplete sword at that. It isn't even finished yet. So now let's go ahead and add a face onto this sword right here. I'm thinking I'm going to do a nose right here. Do a mouth stretching all the way across. And I'm just going to do an eye right there and an eye right there, I'm thinking. And then now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to stretch that all the way up, up until the point, just like that. I'm going to bring this all the way down as well. And there we go. That is the living, breathing sword. It's not quite done yet, though. And just some constructive criticism for myself right off the bat. I do kind of wish I had done a different style eye. But more so than not, I am still quite happy with this drawing, so I'm going to leave it as is. I do kind of want to add some other facial details, though, like maybe just something a little bit like that kind of thing. But I do definitely want to do another layer on top of all the layers I've done so far, just simply because... Uh, I'm feeling like it needs it in all honesty and because uh, some of the lines are kind of rough kind of thing and I feel like adding another layer will um, make it look a little bit rougher but clean it up in doing so. And so as such I'm going to go ahead and start doing that now. I'm just going to go and add some more layers and whatnot kind of thing. Just like I'm doing, just darken up all the lines and everything like that kind of thing. Just make it look a little bit rougher yet clean it up just a little bit because I'm making it look rougher along with thicken up the lines and make the whole drawing look a little bit more distinct as a whole. got some just noticed i've got some some like of my, my uh, sweater i was wearing a sweater earlier today and I, I just now noticed that there's sweater like pieces that were stuck to my watch this watch likes to rip out arm hair and it also likes to rip out a uh, sweater pieces i do suppose as well just had to get those out real quick there we go just like that and there we go. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and now start on the second layer for the hilt and whatnot. So 
This actually reminds me. I didn't start drawing this <clears throat> with this intention, but I watched an anime a while back. Uh, I think it was called something along the lines of Reincarnated as a Sword or something like that kind of thing. A guy dies in the real world and then is reincarnated as a sword in a fantasy world, which is pretty amusing if I do say so myself. Uh, it's actually a surprisingly good anime. Um, sounds like it wouldn't really be all that good, but actually it's pretty. It's a pretty solid anime in all honesty. And it was definitely an enjoyable watch. And uh, I just now realized uh, this character kind of looks like the sword. Well, not really. I mean, like the only similarities are that the, the sword has a face and this sword has a face too. I didn't start drawing this with the intention of being inspired by that uh, anime design, by that design in anime, but... It is pretty amusing to think of nonetheless. Maybe that's where this idea came from in some way, shape, or form, but unconsciously. Let me just put it that way. there we go. And more so than not, the drawing is done. I think I just want to thicken up some of these lines, make it look maybe a little bit more sketchy in some areas kind of thing. And I think after that, I'll pretty much all be done. I just want to thicken up the lines, especially right here. I have the bad habit of making the lines not as thick towards wherever I'm trying to go to. And I did that today as well. Now let's make it just look a little bit more sketchy kind of thing. Just thicken up these lines just a little bit kind of thing. And there we go. Alrighty, I'm thinking this is mostly done now. I'm just gonna go and thicken up some of the lines on the hilt as well. You know, overall, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this drawing. I definitely do think if I came back to revisit this idea again, I think I'd do some different some stuff differently. Um, I think I'm also gonna just add a little bit of a line right there kind of thing, just going through the hilt. I'd, but I do think if I was revisiting this design again, I do think I'd do some stuff a little bit differently. But really not much in all honesty. I think more so than not, it would pretty much remain the same. And uh, overall, I am pretty satisfied with how this drawing turned out. Is there anything else that I want to do? Pretty happy with how the face turned out. Pretty happy with how the sword as a whole turned out. Maybe just do like that kind of thing. Just like that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't really like how that is. I shouldn't have done that in all honesty. I was kind of just wanted to add one more thing, but eh, I'm not super happy with that. If I was going to do this again, I definitely wouldn't do that. But, but more so than not, I am happy with this drawing, and I uh, certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing right here, the drawing where I drew a living, breathing... Oh, I almost forgot I need to give him some arms. Almost forgot. Let's give him some arms real quick, y'all. There we go. Alrighty. Perfect. Now, it's really looking like a living, breathing sword. It's not just looking like a sword with a face on it. It's actually looking like a living, breathing sword now. Well, certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. I think that's all I wanted to draw. Thankfully, I actually remembered uh, to, uh, well, draw the arms. I would have been a little bit disappointed if I had ended the video and 
not remember to draw the arms, but thankfully I did. I uh, certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing right here, which was my drawing of a living, breathing sword. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my uh, main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?